This call PY has shut down and it's time that we move on. Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we're going to be migrating our bots away from Discord PY. If you haven't seen my other video on why Discord PY is shutting down, click on the card on screen or the link in the description and it will explain everything. I made a video a few weeks ago about the best alternatives to Discord PY, the best libraries that you might want to switch your bot to. In that video, I said that in a couple of weeks time, I'd be making a video on which library you should switch your bot to and how you can migrate your bot across to it. And I'd guide you through the process of doing it. Well, that, that is this video. So today we're going to be migrating our bot to another library that will allow our bot to live on, to be able to continue to work past April 2022. But without further ado, let me show you how we can migrate our bot over. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to look at is what library we're going to be switching our bot over to. I've done a lot of research into this as there are so many different alternatives out there to Discord PY, but I've narrowed it down to one, Nextcord, and in my opinion, this is the best alternative out there for Discord PY. It has all of the features of Discord PY, plus a well-documented documentation, but as well as that, it's got way more features than Discord PY. It Honestly, I think it is super good, and that is what we're going to be switching our bot over today, and I'm going to be guiding you through the process on how you can switch your bot over to Nextcord, and I'd recommend you follow along, and I recommend that you use Nextcord. So the reason that we're switching from Discord PY is because Discord PY doesn't have slash commands, and in April 2022, Discord will require all discord bots to use slash commands normal commands won't work that means we'll have to switch to a library that supports slash commands and nextcord does and that is another reason why we're switching over to nextcord so let's get started into the first step of migrating our bot okay so first step is just to double check what python version you're on so come to your terminal and type python free dash dash version and as long as you're above 3.8, so as long as you have 3.8 or higher, that is fine. So next step. Next step is to install Nextcord. And it's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is write a command into our terminal. What is that command? Well, it's this. Copy this. Okay, so first step is just to double check what Python version you're on. So come to your terminal and type Python 3 dash dash version. And as long as you're above 3.8, so as long as you have 3.8 or higher, that is fine. So next step. Next step is to install Nextcord. And it's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is write a command into our terminal. What is that command? Well, it's this. Into your terminal. And when you click enter, it should install Nextcord. However, when I do it, you will see I get an error. And that is just because... Well, there's something wrong in this configuration of Python when I installed it and then something went wrong and I could be bothered to fix it, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to install it a slightly different way. So when you run this command, hopefully it should work for you. However, if you get a similar error to like I do, follow this type pip free install. Oops, if I can spell install, install next chord like that. And hopefully it should work. It's not the best way to install something, but it gets the job done. And looking at it, you can see it is installing it perfectly. Does everything we need it to do, and wonderful. And you can see, look, it successfully installed Nextcord. And also, the next thing that we want to install is the voice part of Di uh, Nextcord. Like we did when we were installing Discord PY, we need to install the voice part of Nextcord PY. And basically, it's exactly the same. Again, you want to run this command, and hopefully it should work for you. However, if it doesn't, like it doesn't work for me, you can just remove this here. Uh, let's just jump. Oops. Let's just jump here. We can remove it and we'll maybe pip free. Oops. Pip free. Ooh, I cannot spell today. What am I doing? Pip free and then install and then you want to score next call voice like that. And there you go. It installed it correctly. Look, next call voice has been installed. All great. All wonderful. We've now installed next chord. So the next thing that we need to do is uninstall Discord PY because we don't want our two things getting confused. So to do this, we can do this. You want to type this command into your terminal. You want to type that in and then run it and hopefully it should uninstall Discord PY. But it doesn't work for me, so we're going to do it the other way. 
And if it doesn't work for you like it doesn't work for me, you could type pip3 uninstall discord py. And look at that, it's now, um, it's now asking us to confirm whether or not we actually want to uninstall discord py. And that is fine because we want to remove all this, so we can click yes. And successfully uninstalled Discord PY. And the reason we uninstalled it is, is because you can sometimes run into errors where the two like uh, packages clash. And just to uh, uh, annihilate all of those problems, if we uninstall it now, we won't get any of those problems, which is great because those problems can be annoying to fix when it's a simple solution like uninstalling it now. And you can always reinstall Discord PY later if you ever want to. So you're not really losing anything. So yeah, don't worry about that. So now, third step, we're moving on to something a bit more interesting. We now need to change in our actual code from importing Discord to importing Nextcord. And this is where it gets exciting. So let me show you. So if we head to our main file, our main file where our bot loads in and runs and connects to Discord and runs, we're going to come into the imports and change import Discord to import Nextcord, like that. And the same here again, from, from Discord.ext import commands, we're going to change from Nextcord dot ext import commands and while we're looking at this page the last thing that we need to change here is from discord dot intents dot default we want to change that to next chord dot intents dot default and that's everything on the main page on our main loading page but we now need to do this for every other single page we have in every single cog it might take a while uh, it might not it really depends so we can go to our admin one and well, we've got quite a few here so just to reiterate what you want to be doing is you want to go through each of these cogs, each of these Python files inside of your cogs and where it says like import discord or import import discord.ext, you want to rename the discord part to next chord. So time for me to start a time lapse on me doing this. You don't have to watch me do it all. And I'll see you once we're done. Okay, so I've now finished going through every single file and changing it from discord to next chord. I just want to mention one thing. You might be wondering, why did I not just go to the search function on Discord or on VS Code and import Discord and then replace it with Nextcord? Well, the reason is, well, I just wanted to make a cool time lapse with it all changing it. So yeah, I recommend just searching it and doing it that way. I just wanted to do it because, you know, it's going to look cool with a nice time lapse sort of thing of me going through and changing it every single file. But yeah, that's the reason why. But now we've changed everything that we should need to to what to Nextcord. And now hopefully... Our bot will now run on next call when we run it. However, most likely when we run it, we're going to run into some errors because that is expected. There's probably a, maybe a single line of code that I've missed that it has, for example, like on this main page, remember, when we changed this Discord to next call, where there might be another one in like a cog file where I've missed and we might need to change it there. But that is expected. It's all part of the fun. So let's run it and see what happens. Python 3, main.py, and let's run it. If it works, I'll be blown away. Yep, we've got an error. See, Discord is not defined, as I said. We most likely run into that error. So we just basically just need to debug it. And look here, discord.member's not found. So next chord dot member. And let's have a just quick scan through here. Yeah, next chord dot member. And scanning through like this. Yeah, we basically can just go through and do it. We can probably do a find and replace of just searching through um, uh, Discord here. We can see it here, and then when we need to, we can just replace it all by just doing Control F. We can just go through and easily find where we've missed it. There we go. We've now gone through all of them in the admin file, so we can save that. And while we're here, we might as well do the other file. So if we go to the fun, we can search for Discord. And yep, we got it here again. So basically, do this again for every single one of your files. Go Control F, and if it's like Discord.embed, change it to Nextcore.embed. You see what I'm saying here. Go through and do that for every single one of your files. So let's do another time lapse. There we go. We've now gone through and replaced all of the Discord dot whatever with Nextcore dot whatever. And now hopefully it should work. So let's try that again. And I've just made a silly spelling mistake, as I always do. So I'll fix that and let's run it again. So let's run it and hopefully it should now work. Or we're most likely going to get another error. Look, it now works. It says our bot is now ready for use. So let's head to Discord and let's see if our bot is online. And look at that. Our bot is now online up here, as you can see. So let's run a test command to see if it actually works still. So hello. Nope, I've got the wrong prefix. Hello. There we go. Hello, I'm YouTuber. You've done it. We have successfully changed our bot over to Nextcord and it works. So our bot's no longer running Discord PY. It's running Nextcord. That is so cool. 
So what we can what we can do now with next chord is so much more so in the next couple of videos i'm going over slash commands so stay tuned for that i'm going over buttons drop downs and so much more that next chord offers honestly it'll be so cool and be such a great way for you to progress your bot to make your bot way more advanced so if you're excited about that make sure you're subscribed so and you and so you don't miss when i upload those i hope you've enjoyed changing your bot over now to next chord and i hope you've learned something but anyway I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.